Nissan promotes electrification through its two pivotal electrified powertrains, electric vehicle or EV and e-power. Since launching the Nissan LEAF EV in 2010, we have continued to bring breakthrough electrified technologies to market. To make electrified vehicles more attractive to consumers, we have been developing battery technologies, including all solid state, more efficient electrified powertrains, and unique motor drive control technologies. Through development of the LEAF, Nissan has pioneered the potential and excitement of electric motor drive. Powerful, yet smooth acceleration, outstanding quietness, and excellent driving performance. And thanks to motor control at the 1 10,000th second level, we have achieved a huge leap in cornering, acceleration, and braking performance. ePower, meanwhile, aims to bring EV driving characteristics to a large number of people. ePower shares core components, control technologies, and production technologies with our EVs. The key difference is that it provides the convenience of a fuel tank. Launched in Japan in 2016, ePower is hitting the road in various markets around the world. To further enhance the competitiveness of our EV and ePower powertrains, we have been developing a new approach under which the two powertrains will also share newly modularized core components. We call this approach X-in-1. The expertise we have gained from the development of both EV and ePower creates benefits for both. These powertrains create new value as they continue to evolve, with their evolution gathering speed as we move forward. And in fact, Nissan's motor driving is particularly effective when it comes to off-road and rough terrains. Please take a look at the left. This is X-Trail of internal combustion engine. When the car goes over the stepped surface, because there is a time lag between when you push on the accelerator and when the car actually speed up, the driver tends to push on the accelerator more than what is needed. Once the car overcomes a stepped surface, it goes faster than what you intended, so the driver has to brake it. And this is the 4WD of Nissan. Nissan. You, because the car goes faster as you push on the acceleration pedal, you don't have to overdo it. Therefore, you can generate necessary driving force at the necessary timing, and you can operate by only applying acceleration pedal. Even on the rough roads, you can enjoy smooth driving with peace of mind. And this is how we reduce stress. Now, let me talk about the vibration transmitted from the dri drivetrain and unnecessary noise. On the left, you see the engine room and how the EV drives when the simple motor control is ab applied. You can see that the motor is shaking at the time of standing start. On the right hand side, you see how the car starts moving when Nissan's vibration control is applied. You can see the vibration of motor is smaller. When I talk about vibration control, I said that when high torque is applied to the motor, the drive shafts twist and the tires vibrate. In reality, tires do not move much because of friction between the tire and the road surface. However, motor does shake a lot. And the vibration from the motor is transmitted through the vehicle body to the occupants on board. Nissan's vibration control minimizes such vibration. Our motor control technology does not only reduce vibration caused by motor on paved roads, but also prevents vibration caused by road conditions such as sand and deep snow. This is high robust and tolerant, so to speak, it is. The image on the left shows a vehicle on sand with and without control technology. 
Without our control technology, the vehicle is shaking up and down while moving forward. But with the control technology, the car is moving smoothly without vibration. When you look on the photo on the right, you can see that the surface of the sand is flat even after the vehicle with the control technology passes. But for the one without the control technology, you see gaps on the surface of sand in the case of the car without the control technology. This is the image of deep snow. Without the control technology, the car is shaking up and down. The car with control technology is driving smoothly without vibration. Uh, let me show you how it works on the right-hand side. Without the control, the tire is digging a hole in the road without the control technology. And when the tires rotate in deep snow, sand, when the contact area between the tires and ground grows bigger, driving force is transmitted and the car gets out of the hole. This is what you repeat. And this causes a vertical, vertical vibration. Not wet, wet and frozen roads irrespective of the road conditions we are very our car is very stable against the disturbances as i said what i'm going to show you is on the slippery road in order by enhancing turning performance in regard with re, irrespective of the road conditions you can drive as usual What you see today is the all-new Aria EV and the previous generation X-Trail. Aria excels in turning performance and traces the expected line without moving beyond the outer circle or outer perimeter. This is the same, right? And the car turns effectively on snow roads. Here you see the comparison between previous generation X-Trail and the all-new X-Trail with E-Force. You can see that the new X-Trail enjoys better turning performance and traces the intended line without moving outside the perimeter. And this is from the top where you see an eye surface. And you can see that the car is following the expected line. Nissan's original all-wheel drive control technology force enables driving as usual even on slippery road. So let me show you how we are enhancing the turning performance. On the right-hand side, E-Force delivers. You see how much driving force is generated on the front and rear wheels is on the top. And at the bottom, we control braking power applied on the tires. So we integrate the control on two aspects to realize the expected vehicle behavior. I will use the video to show you how E-Force works.